Okay, we are actually in Adobe Character Animator 2020. Now, don't be overwhelmed by this. You could spend a whole career working in just this program. Trust me, it has won an Emmy this year for this software. What we're going to do is we're going to do the basic, basic, basic thing. I've opened up Character Animator. I have a series of puppets down here that are already done. Later, I will show you how maybe to get some more, but I'm just going to show you the bare basics. Over here, I have an example puppet. I'm going to click on that, and that's going to load this puppet into Character Animator. Now, this is super complicated, but if you just take it slow and easy, we're going to be able to do this together. The purpose is to make a little character to work with us when putting together a Captivate project. On the upper right, you're going to see I have my webcam on, which is very scary, and I'm in my home office, and over here I have a microphone and it's recording my audio. You can barely see it, but you're going to see some little red dots on my face here. And that is picking up the expressions on my face. I also have a light facing towards me, and I have my glasses on, so it's kind of hard. Sometimes it doesn't pick up when I blink, but it's going to pick up my mouth and my eyes and all this. So here's the first thing we're going to do, nice and easy. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to look straight at my screen where my laptop is with my camera. There's a little button here. It says set rest pose. I'm going to look straight ahead. And now that is my rest pose. When I move my head to the right or the left, it moves. You can see the mouth is working. I can raise my eyebrows. I can wink. I can do all these wonderful things. Now, Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to come down here and there's a little record button. In a few seconds, I'm going to record a welcome to setting up your home office. And then I'm going to stop it here. And then I'm going to review it. Here we go. I'm going to look straight at the camera. Hi, and welcome to today's lesson on setting up your home office. Okay, I'm going to stop that. And I'm going to come over here. It's recorded my actions, my camera input, my audio input, and my animated characters. Let's, let's see what it looks like. Hi, and welcome to today's lesson on setting up your home office. Okay, I think that's great. So now, let's just say it's good. I'm going to go up to my file menu. I'm going to come on down here to export. I'm going to turn this into a video file. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to pick video via or by way of Adobe Media Encoder. Now don't panic. It's going to save this file first, so I'm going to go to my local drive. I'm going to go to my home office folder here, and I'm going to pick save. I'm going to come down here to the bottom of my screen. It's loading up in the background Adobe Media Encoder. I'm going to minimize Character Animator here for a second. Here is Media Encoder. It has already put the file up here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and click on this blue where it says output file. I'm going to say I want it into my home office folder. I'll rename this, let's say, uh, welcome. And I'm going to click pick save. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over and I'm going to take this output of an H264 
file, MP4, that's what Captivate wants, and I'm going to pick Output. So now it's going to run through this and output it into a video file that I can bring into Captivate. All right, it's all done. I'm going to quit Media Encoder. Let me come back to uh, where I was at before with Character Animator. And I'm going to go up here and I'm going to quit out of Character Animator. Notice I've already saved my project. It says already sa or always saved. And I'm going to come down to quit Character Animator. So now I want to bring in that little character that we built in Character Animator. So I'm on my first slide here. I'm going to come over to Media. I'm going to come down to Video. I'm going to go on my computer, Browse. I'm going to come over here to my local file, my home office project. And here's my MP4 file I exported out of Media Encoder. I'm going to click OK. So now here's my file. It's bigger than my slide actually. So now I'm going to click on it once. In fact, I'll double click on it. And that will bring up properties on the right. And the first thing I'm going to do is I need to resize this. So I'm going to come down, Properties, Options. And I'm going to first say 0, 0 for my X and Y coordinates. 0, Y, 0. How about height 400 pixels high? Enter. Now that's a little big. So let me do this. Let me try 300. Okay. Enter. So now I have this video. It's just like any other video clip you would have in Captivate. When I click on this and I go to timing, it's going to play this file for the rest of the slide. I'm actually going to say duration of the video, we'll say. I'm going to go back to properties. I'm going to pick style. And I'm going to come over here and I'm going to turn on something called auto play. But before I do that, I'm going to come down here under skin. Skin means this controller right here. Play, pause, and stop, and mute. I'm going to actually come down here on skin and say none. Because I don't really necessarily want the student to be able to stop or rewind that. Notice it automatically goes into auto play because there's no button to push. I'm going to pick auto rewind in case I come back to this slide and it will play over. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to save. Always save and captivate. Don't trust it for a second. Now what I hope to do is just preview this. So I'm going to go to preview HTML5 in browser. It's going to open up my internet browser. I'm going to have the ability here to click this play button to play this. Here we go. Hi, and welcome to today's lesson on setting up your home office. Now, notice it played across a bunch of slides, so we may have to go back and do some things in Captivate to fix this. So let me minimize Firefox and come back here to my video. I'm going to come over here to Timing, and I'm going to pick this. I'm going to pick, how about, Rest of Slide. Let's see what this does. Preview HTML5 in browser. Play. Hi, and welcome to today's lesson on setting up your home office. Let's come back here. Let's now go up here and add a button interaction. Nothing serious here. We're just going to take this button. I'm going to move it right over here. I'm going to come over here in my properties panel. I'm going to go to caption and I'm going to pick continue. 
I'm going to set up the action for it to go to the next slide and I think we're in good shape here so let's see if this will pause and wait for us to click this button let's go preview again this is just basic captivate right now hi and welcome to today's lesson on setting up your home office okay then I click continue and it goes to the next slide so let's do this one more time so you have an understanding of this I'm gonna leave the button on here I'm gonna click on my video file this video file is no different than any other video file we just happen to make it out of character animator so media video browse welcome that's the name of the video let me move this up so you can make sure I'm clicking on the right thing open okay it puts it on the slide I'm gonna double click on it I'm gonna go into properties I'm gonna go into options I'm gonna set my zero zero for X and Y I'm gonna come down here on height and I'm gonna put in let's say 250 we know there's a play bar or a skin on this uh, let's say we want to leave it on this time last time we turned the skin off by going to style and we picked none but let's leave it on there for right now and I'm not gonna check autoplay or auto rewind can I move this sure let me move it right down here next thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna preview it whoops I forgot something timing well let's see rest of slide that's perfect must have remembered it from last time preview HTML5 in browser oh it's not playing that's because I didn't turn on autoplay but if I hover over it I see a play arrow here right in the middle of his forehead hi and welcome to today's lesson on setting up your home office and notice I can hover over this and get a rewind hi and welcome to today's pause play today's lesson on stop scrub your home and what else is here office. mute rewind on to today's lesson on volume setting up your home office full screen escape pretty doggone nice isn't it let me close out of here okay so there's the basics of setting up a video and recording the video live in character animator and bringing that video in here and using this little character as an animated assistant